Hey folks, this is Mr. Walsh and we are on target D8. I can divide a two digit by a one digit with regrouping but no remainder. So let's take a look at that first one. We have a two digit number divided by one digit numbers. Oop, wrong number there. Divided by three, that's our one digit number. And we are going to remember our steps. Dirty monkeys smell bad divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. All right, let's jump right in there and let's take a look at um, how many times, or excuse me, 72 divided by 3, what that's going to be. So we have 72 something, and we're going to divide that 72 into three different groups, and how many would be in each group. So let's take a look at our 7 here. And so 7 divided by 3, well, if you look at your multiplication table, uh, 3 will go into 3 one time, 3 will go into 6 two times, 3 will go into 9, oh, too big, we're trying to get into 7. So I'm going to back to the 6, and I know that 3 will go into 6 two times. So I'm going to put a 2 right here, okay, and then I'm going to say 2 times 3 is 6. There's my multiplication step, it's 6, I'm going to put it right underneath that 7. I'm going to subtract at this point. 6 from 7 is 1, okay, and I'm going to bring down this 2. So now at this stage, we can repeat those steps and again, go back to some of the earlier uh, targets we worked on to make sure you're understanding what's happening here and why and um, how the manipulatives were helpful in understanding these steps. So now we can say 3 goes into 12, it'll go 4 times. And 4 times 3 is 12, so we're going to write that here. And then we're going to subtract, and we get 0, and there's no remainder. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and, and jump into that second problem on your page there. So we have 32 divided by 2. So we know that we have dirty monkeys, smell bad, and that's divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. So will 2 go into 3? 2 will 3 one time. So 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract. So subtraction step. 2 from 3 is 1. And then bring down step. So we're going to bring down that 2. So we have this 2, there's 12 now. So repeat those steps. 2 goes into 12, or 12 divided by 2 is 6. And then our multiplication step, 6 times 2 is 12. And subtract 0. Okay, nothing to bring down, so the answer is 16. Let's do one more problem. Let's do 56, that's the third problem over. 56 divided by 4. So um, remember, dirty monkeys smell bad. Divide, multiply, subtract, subtract, bring down, and repeat those steps. So 5 goes into 4, excuse me, 5 divided by 4, or you could say 4 goes into 5, one time only. 1 times 4 is 4. Subtract 4 from 5, and we get 1. Bring down your 6, six. you have 16 now. So repeat your steps. Divide. 6 goes into, or excuse me, 4 goes into 16 four times. Or 16 divided by 4 is 4. And multiply your 4 times your 4 is 16. And you end up with a remainder of 0. So 56 can be divided into four different groups, 14 in each of the groups. All right. Have fun. Work hard.